I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline. Want you by my head. Hey guys, I'm Simulator Tech, and today I'll be building a $150 custom keyboard. All of the parts used in the video can be found at Miyaki, who is an affiliate of mine, so if you want to help support the channel, please use the link in the description. Coming in at $67, the keyboard I'm using is the Akko ACR 75 V2. It's a 75% stacked acrylic keyboard featuring a polycarb plate, a south facing hotspot PCB, and this lovely metal USB-C port. This board is gasket mounted with these little silicone gasket sleeves which are easy to apply and remove. Between the PCB and plate is a silicone dampener and a PE foam sheet, both of which I will be using. The stabs are plate mounted and pre lubed but I found they had almost no rattle. For switches, I will be using the new Texi Blue Balloon Linear Switches. These come in at 50 cents a switch and feature nearly identical specs to the popular Zaku's, including a polycarbonate top housing, nylon bottom housing, a long pole palm stem, and a 63 gram double stage spring. Considering the Zaku's are manufactured by Texi, it's pretty easy to see that these are like a BRZ to the Zaku's GT86. That was for my car guys out there. I did lube these with 205G0 on the stems and leaf and super lube oil on the springs. Without lube, these have a lot of leaf noise, but after a light coat of lube, it disappears completely. For keycaps, I'll be using these Santorini keycaps that are available on Miyaki. They're cherry profiled Daiso BBT, and for $40, they're really nice. The designs on the mod keys, as well as the sublegends, which I believe are Greek, really contribute to the overall aesthetic of the set. I'm sick of daydreaming, I just want the feeling of you in my bed. And here is the final board. The keycaps match the case quite nicely and I love the look of the acrylic case, though it was kind of difficult to line up when putting it back together. Alright, let's hear how it sounds. Wow, it sounds really nice. It has a very clean, clacky sound profile, and I quite enjoy it. Overall, I'm really happy with how this build turned out. The switches are super smooth and snappy, and the keycaps look really good on the case. Additionally, this board also has a decent amount of flex, which isn't super noticeable while typing, but it's definitely softer than any tray or top mount I've tried. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to check out any of the parts used in the video, Check out the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching and thank you Miyaki for sending out the parts. See you guys later. Bye.